it's just really nice to have the support and this is just a most amazing journey that we've been on so far. It's been great. Bill and Heather Gardsky opened their business, Pineapple House, in downtown Cedarburg in April. The same month, the city canceled Strawberry Festival, which would have brought in thousands of customers come summer. It's been one of those journeys where you really don't know what to expect, and then all of a sudden, like, the local support comes out. The local shops of Cedar Creek Settlement worked to pull off another fair anyway. People from all over are coming, and it's so nice to see people. It's nice to see faces again. We decided that we still wanted to be able to do something. We've got a lot of faithful people that have come to our festivals for years, and we, we wanted to say, you know, Get out, listen to some live music, enjoy the fresh air. Although there are fewer strawberries in sight, residents still came out to support the vendors, businesses, and this year's fair. I think it's so much fun here. It's totally a blast. Yeah, this is fantastic. We've been able to walk up and down, and we stopped at a couple of the wineries. Whether it be those wineries or the shortcakes, businesses say it was a pleasant placeholder until Strawberry Festival makes its return. I think this year, even though there's not hundreds of thousands of people here, it's been a really good crowd. In Cedarburg, Courtney Sis, WISN 12 News. The summer fair continues tomorrow in Cedarburg from 11 to 5. Fair coordinators are hopeful that the Strawberry Festival will be back again next summer.